<sighs> Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders, the great millstone that rule well through the scriptures, peace to the hopeful elect. And this is just basically a rant. You know, I just been sitting here at work. I work third shift. And uh, basically, man, this place is just a drag. Just life in America in general is just everything just suck, man. You know, you try to get enough sleep. You never get enough fucking sleep. You know, the, the food is trash. You try to eat right and try to eat healthy. The food is trash. The women are trash. Your options, the options that you got available to you, you know. Here it is, you trying to be a man. You know what I mean? Trying to control your emotions and shit. <clears throat> a lot of us been raised, you know, effeminate. You know, uh, with female intuition. You know, you've been raised with the female thought process. You know, react emotion emotionally to everything. <clears throat> you trying to undo that. Trying to, you know, you, you listen to podcasts about uh, manhood and proper masculinity. And you talk to older brothers and get advice about certain little shit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Because the world, the world fucked up. The world messed up. The more masculine and you are, the, the more you stand for something you know the the more you hate it and dislike then i don't mind being hated and disliked honestly especially being you know for a proper cause you know like uh yahweh shai said he said when you hate it for his name's sake you know Let me see. <clears throat> Matthew 10 and 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Here it is. We just standing up for what's right. And we hated, for, hated by everybody. The whole time, you got people to hate. See, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we the Israelites, right? But we the face of wickedness. I'll give you an example. You got Epstein and all his constituents, right? He dealt with all different type of people of all different type of races, right? But the upper echelon of that was the so-called white people, the Edomites. You got him, you got the Hillary Clinton, you got the, the, the Clinton family in general, the Bidens, right? The Biden family, you look, you got his son, you got Joe Biden himself. Popcorn was a real bad boy. You know, kids playing with his legs in the pool. You're right, you got his son doing all type of nefarious acts. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, the cohort of Jeffrey Epstein, his island, right? The Epstein Island uh, directly resembled the logo for Nickelodeon. That 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 paint, that that splotch of paint with Nickelodeon in it. Oh, the, the word Nickelodeon mean uh, they hate God or something like that. Let me look that up real quick. No, I ain't gonna look it up. It don't matter. Take my word for it. You can go look it up. Nickelodeon. Look up where it come from. Hate God or don't care about God. This whole world is just through. <laughs> all right. But back to the Epstein thing. But no, nah, but who's the face of all that? Diddy. Right. And Diddy a demon. The Diddler. Whatever they call him. Right. But you see, you see how in this world, you know, the the so-called black man is always the face of terror. So now here it is. We the Hebrew Israelites, right? The the true Hebrew Israelites, right? The, the men of the Lord. The true men of the Lord, okay? Designated through the spirit of the Lord. Designated to, to give you understanding of this Bible that's been given to us from generations through Christianity, through our grandmothers, Right? Because the, the, the man hasn't been the spiritual head of the so-called Negro family for a long time. So it's all for the majority of us and y'all. It's your grandma. That this feminist, this feminine formed version of Christianity. And look what's happening to him. And ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing about T.D. Jakes. What your grandma, what your grandma got to say about T.D. Jakes? Huh? Have you ever been swallowed? 
he was all wool swallowed. I would have been. I would have been. I would have. These niggas just up there acting, man. And ain't nobody saying shit. And then the niggas say, and if he did do something wrong, if he did do something wrong, all he got to do is put it in the name of the blood of Jesus. This is a fucking, this is like it's a get out of jail free card or some shit. It's a get out of jail free card. But, but let me read. It says, but he that endured to the end shall be saved. So look, we got to just endure this shit. All right. It ain't going to be easy. The shit suck. You try to, you have little small little dreams. Little small little shit, right? Okay, I'm going to save up some money, fix my car, uh, save up some money, do this to my house or whatever, right? And some fucking shit happen. Because we live in a fucking, we live in, this is hell. Hell ain't a, hell is the conditions play out on earth. This is hell, okay? When you read Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, and I saw under the sun the place of judgment was there. We're receiving judgment from the Lord here on earth. The place that's under the sun. You look in the sky, the sun up there. And, and all this, and, and just this, this meager existence that we're living in is just judgment. Because we disobeyed the most high. And it sucked. And we just watching everybody. We on punishment. We just watching everybody else outside playing. And we better than they ass. And they just out there playing and having a good jolly old time. And when I say that, I mean these other heathen nations. And we just sit here stuck on punishment. But we got to deal with it. Let me grab that. Second Ezra's, I believe it's three. Second Ezra's three and 29. For when I, for when I came thither and had seen impieties, Without number, yeah. Impious. Impiety is a form of impious. And that means without holiness, without reference to God. And ain't this an impious ass place? Nobody care about the God of the most. Now, it used to be you had people that didn't care, but it was more of a closeted thing. All right? They were it's amongst, prim, amongst the so called Negro Latino Native American community. All right. It wasn't that wasn't an outward thing to just not believe in God and just be disrespectful to holiness. That was that wasn't just outward in our nation like that. All right. And, but now our people like the goddamn heathen. OK. It says, then my soul saw many evildoers in this 30th year so that my heart failed me. Your heart is your mind. So it's like, you know, you you witness the shit about you. And then you, it's just a vexation in your spirit. All right. The scripture says just lot was vexed with the wealthy conversation of the wicked. All right. They, their, their conversation, the shit that they talk about, their conduct. All you hear is dudes talking about uh, 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 adultery. Right. Selling drugs, doing them, robbing, killing. It says, for I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning and has spared wicked doers and niggas just get away with murder. Niggas just think they cracking cards, uh, tens, $20,000, $40,000, traveling. And that's cool, you know, and I, I ain't hating. I mean, <laughs> do you? Because the scripture says, what, though a sinner uh, escape a hundred times... He know that it's going to go well with them that fear the Lord. It was that in uh, Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter. All right. So the scripture says, uh, scripture says, don't be uh, wary of evildoers when they become rich. All right. Don't envy evildoers. Let me see if I grab that one. Um, Ah. Uh, uh uh when one is made rich, let me see. Mm. 
Yeah, dude, I, I, I knew it was uh, Psalm 49. Psalm 49 and 16. Be, be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul. Yeah, he, he, he lived it up. And men will praise thee when thou doest well to thyself. Yeah, chasing the bag, standing on business, right? Band man kept it, but it's all, but it's all, it's all, you got to sacrifice your integrity to do all that shit, man. It ain't even no point. If you got integrity, if you a man, you standing on something, then, hey, this the condition, hey, this the, this the state you're going to be in more often than not. Okay? Until, until Yahweh Shai come, man. All right? Scripture speaks about. Let me see. Sirach 10 and 9, it says, Why is earth and ashes proud? And these niggas is proud. Earth and ashes, just human flesh. Why is human flesh proud? Nigga, your ass can, you can die. You can get sick. The Lord can just hit your ass with a thump. Ooh, I'll be hoping the Lord just do some, which he is, though. Lord is doing some extraordinary shit. See, people getting fucked up. See, it ain't all that fun and games now. You see, you people, y'all be trying to force it. Faking like you're having fun. You ain't having no goddamn fun. All right? Get your ass cut up, put in the freezer somewhere. That's what's been happening to y'all. There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. Right, unless you see these people, they like us, the hopeful we let, right? Here we go, we trying, right? We in the fight, we, we trying to swing. We swinging shit. We trying to pivot. We don't want, shit, we just want some fucking good water. You got to pay an arm and a leg for some fucking water. A fucking case of eternal. You get six liters and a half, 20 some fucking dollars, and that shit gone. Don't have a family, this shit gone. You in there going back and forth. You drunk up all the eternal. Come on, man. And these motherfuckers <laughs> throwing 30, 30, 40,000 in the goddamn strip club. It says, for such a one set of his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels, right? Your bowels represent your guts, okay? Your gut, the term intestinal fortitude, intestines. The fortitude is, can you keep it together? All right? So it's an analogy for maintaining your integrity. That's why Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Paraphrasing, he will, he will keep his integrity, man. All right? And that's the, and that's the, the situation we in. All right? Shit's going on. Shit be happening. And then the devil will face you with situations where you can be compromised. All right. And some of the shit be simple and easy. It all depends on the brother and his spirit. Some brother, it be simple shit. Here it is. You be talking to a girl. And then you, you, you know what I mean? You gaming her, trying to say the right shit, trying not to fuck up the box. Next thing you know, she got a man at some capacity. You got to, you, you know, you... You just don't deal with it. And that's just giving an example. You know, be faced with different little shit just to have a, a, a small little peace of mind or, or, or just to have a, a some comfort. But then, what you, what you gonna do? You gonna sacrifice your integrity? No, nah, man, these are just little tests that you gotta fucking pass and just deal with until salvation come. Let me see. Uh, right. Uh, I'll get the other one. I'll get this one in Job. Then you 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 fucking. Your, your, your memory getting fucked up. I ain't even that damn old. I was a brother who was 
renowned for his memory. My memory getting fucked up. You being you being mid conversation, your your thought lose you and escape you. And I don't eat bad. I work out. You know, I I try to take care of myself and shit. My but that shit don't matter. Every everything just fucking through. Let me see. God damn it. Right, Job 13 to 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine own ways before him. So I'm going to stay on the path. I'm going to keep my integrity. Shit. That's the most important thing in this place. That's the, that's the most important thing is your goddamn integrity. All right? The scripture says what? A good name is better than riches and wealth. Everything that er everything that these inhabitants of this earth is fighting for, you know, substance, accolades, fame, ain't none of that shit better than a good reputation, aka a good name, because that lasts forever. All right, that's n now you got now you got uh, how can I word it? Now you got juice with the most high now, and that's what count. I'll grab this scripture. Look, then you do videos, the videos don't fucking save. You be fucking doing a video for an hour, going in, in the spirit. This shit just be flowing. You know, sometimes you do videos and you, you know, the shit is in your mind before it's, it, it reach your voice. But sometimes the, 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 you be in the spirit so much that the lesson just, it happens on its own. You might be, you might write it or think about it in one direction and it take on a life of its own and you go for 40 minutes, an hour, 30 minutes and it, it don't fucking save. And you know you don't, you know you've had everything lined up. You done uh, turned your notifications off, made sure the volume was on, made sure the mic, see, and just goof, all type of shit. But anyway, yeah, and what prompted this lesson, I'm just at work. I done took an evaluation. I didn't get a bad evaluation. I got a moderate evaluation. But mother, but this damn devil, you see, it's just a devil, man. I got a fucking moderate evaluation. And his fucking butt buddy, because Esau a damn sexual deviant. You, you know, we got mics and radios. I ain't even had the mic that long, and that's or that's just all they talk, dick and fart jokes, gay shit. Okay, Jake, Jake on the mic, demeaning himself, being a damn sambo. Like nigga, just just relax, nigga. God damn, chill. I gotta deal with this nigga giving giving me a mediocre goddamn evaluation. Well, I smile it in my face at the same fucking time. <laughs> this nigga the devil. <laughs> this nigga. This, oh, this nigga got the devil, man. This nigga give me a little, a little punk ass. I'm like, and I'm sitting there, you know, I'm not, and I got to fucking play along with it. See, I'm, so I'm tired of fucking playing along, man. Everybody ain't good at that playing along shit. I ain't good at that playing along shit, man. Everybody ain't good at that shit. So now that's 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 part of my fight. I gotta fucking learn how to play a fucking loan with this fucking devil. I ain't never liked the fucking devil. I'm talking about as a little kid. I ain't never liked. I ain't, I all it's always like I'm talking about six, seven, eight. I always had like a man. Nah, I don't. And I'm being honest, man. I ain't never liked the fucking devil. And to be honest. That was the first, I'm just ranting. This is a spiritual rant. I hope it's edifying, but man, I just don't want to come and do a lesson and talk and, you know. But this is the first thing that woke me up to the truth. Esau was the devil. Not that we was Israelites. That is, that's the, nope. The very first concept that woke me up to the truth in epic fashion, too, was that, e that all this shit was Esau's fault. All this shit. All this, all this, this weak ass existence we call life at this moment, all of it, 
in its in 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 in, in its various aspects was this nigga fault. That's what woke me up. It all made sense. It all came together. This motherfucker give me this meager evaluation and, and explaining it. And I know for a fact. <laughs> you know, I'm working better than these these other motherfuckers. I'm like, man, give me a fucking break, bro. But, you know, it is what it is. I ain't giving, I ain't, I ain't working my whole ass off. You know, don't let, don't, don't, you know, you got to balance that shit out with Esau. That nigga, he won't, he won't your ass. He won't your back. He won't your ass hunched over. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely working significantly more than them other motherfuckers. And you, you know he done gave him a better review, but it is what it is. I don't give a damn no more. But that nigga the devil. And it's just small little shit like this hell being at the bottom is 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 just a fucking nuisance. It's just a whole bunch of it's just a whole bunch of nuisance that just add up. You know? You got big ones, you got small ones. And some people break, and some people sacrifice their integrity. Alright? But that's what's so beautiful about the truth. That's why King David said what his steps had almost slipped. Fucking around in this under the, with the devil, man, in this place, and I ain't finished the second Ezra, but that's okay. Second Ezra chapter seven and three. For I was envious at the foolish. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse two. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well not slipped. He almost fell off the path. All right, almost went astray. For he was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Like these niggas got the fucking golden ticket in Willy Wonka's whatever the fuck. Primarily talking about the so-called white man. This nigga can't do no, this nigga, hell, this nigga commit crime. And 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 uh, still be haughty. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain, violence covering them as a garment. Now, the one dude that hacked up the one girl on the date, so you know the so-called black woman. Hell, they had people in his. De- <laughs> they had people in his defense. Like, look, that bond is too high. But luckily, he got family who's going to get him out and they're going to fight this. Like, God damn, he just hacked the bitch up. Hell, I remember the, the one guy from California, I, the one famous serial killer, he was uh, kidnapping women and, uh, you know, killing women or whatever over there on the West Coast, California, years ago. His court case was televised. He represented himself. I, don't re- I can't remember his name, but I remember it was a point where the judge commended him. You know, he was so-called handsome according to their standards. I guess he was eloquent of speech. And here it is, this nigga on trial for killing. This nigga is a serial killer. And the judge commended this nigga. The shit was on TV. I seen it with my own eyes. The shit was on TV because they televised this case. But let a, let a, let a 14, 13-year-old so-called black man steal a goddamn candy bar because he's hungry. They throw his ass under the jail. You see that? I guess I'll finish the Esdras now. And then cap it, cap it off with the mica. It says, For I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning and hast spared wicked doers and hast destroyed thy people. Hit we through, and they getting away with murder, and has preserved thine enemies and has not signified it. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than Sion? It'll, it'll seem like that. That's why these devils think that they the children of God. And that's why they think we the ones who cursed. Because they get away with they, they They living it up. That's why they think they got the high IQ. And we the, and, and we, we're we subhuman. Because they on top. Okay? So that's proof that we the Israelites right there. 
I got look, I got a I got my break over. Look, then the, the devil, they in here fucking smoking. God damn it. We ain't even supposed to be doing this. But they smoking uh them fucking what you know, the shit, the vaporless smoke shit. What do they call them shits? Uh Anyway, they smoking them shits. They can, but then on on, on our ass for uh, for for breaking all this old goofy shit, and they over here breaking rules like a motherfucker. Let me get this Micah seventy nine. <coughs> smoking them vapes and shit, walking around smoking fucking vapes. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against Him, and that's what it is, man. You gotta bear the shit. Jake get tired of bearing it. Then sacrifice their integrity and and, 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 and and live it up for a while. But while they living it up in the back of their mind, they know they ain't right. See, shame is a hell of a fucking emotion. I don't like that's like that's the worst for me. I don't fuck with shame. I don't wanna I don't wanna feel that. Should sure, nobody wanna feel that. Shame is is shame is a drag. That's why the scripture says uh, some shall rise to everlasting shame and contempt. Cause your ass sack you gave up your integrity. You sold out. It says, because I have sinned against him. Right, because basically we brought this on ourselves as a nation. Until he plead my cause, and the Lord going to eventually plead our cause, because ain't nobody else doing it. Don't nobody else care. All right, the scriptures, and what is that? It says, who shall bemoan thee, O Israel, and who shall ask how thou doing? They don't give a fuck that we have been thoroughly uh, 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 dismantled. With drugs and, and Willie Lynch and uh, welfare and all. They don't give a goddamn. They just care about the outcome. Joe Biden said it himself. When you look at his address about the 92 or the 94 crime bill, you can look at it on YouTube. Surprise, they ain't took it down yet. He said, we don't care how, the, yes, they, they messed up and we don't care what happened and how that happened. Yes, yeah, unfortunate, but all I care about is I don't want my mama get hit in the head and blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. See, they don't give a damn. Even though they caused it. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. And part of his righteousness is, is goddamn beating up our enemies up. Shit, for lack of a better term. All right? And we're going to be brought forth that we're the children of God and that what we was doing was been right this whole time. We're, we're going to be big, you're going to be small, we're going to be right, you're going to be... Hell, we're going to be Miss Trenchbow, goddammit, in that movie, Matilda. <laughs> That's just a little joke. But anyway, Lord willing, this was an edifying list of the whole food. Let Kahalayim lie, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakudah, Shalom.